Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com. Uh, nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. If you are uh, brand new to the channel, first of all, thank you very much for tuning in, spending uh, a couple of moments with us. Uh, if you like the content and all we ask is drop a like, uh, share, comment below, tell us uh, about your journey, uh, what type of trader you are, all that good stuff that makes this uh, a pretty cool channel. And I'll continue to uh, try to do my best, right? Try to do my best to talk about uh, the next day's trading based on technical analysis, not opinions, uh, not guesswork, uh, only the data. So let's talk about the data. So if you've been watching this channel for, uh, you know, just in the last few days, you know, we talked about uh, that blow off pause. It wasn't a blow off top, just a blow off pause. The blow off tops are usually regulated after the market uh, in hindsight uh, starts losing the 50 day moving average. Everybody says, hey, you remember that day? That was a blow off top. So this was a blow off pause when people were getting uh, too, you know, too euphoric. People were talking about to the moon and this and that and the third. And we talked about this. Hey, watch out for those levels. It's going to be a blow off top or at least blow off pause and see what happens if they start losing the five day. And if you watch the weekend broadcast, that's what we talked about. The, the first, you know, Friday we closed the first time uh, below the five day moving average. Uh, today confirmed. We talked about that one four seventy eight. Uh, 67 level, and we got hit. We got hit uh, once again uh, on the NASDAQ 100. Again, the levels are very, very important. Again, nobody knows where a stock is going to be a week from now, let alone you know an hour from now. But we do get data by watching uh, different points of interest. And the point is when those points get breached or confirmed, uh, usually there will get price action in that matter. Uh, and now, you know, we got first close below the 10 day moving average. So the five day for me is the shorter term sentiment, whereas the control of the five day has control of the short term sentiment. But the birth of the trade, if you've been watching this broadcast for a while, the birth of the trade is the 10 day. Okay. And basically what that means is that you're starting to see a shorter to more intermediate trend start to develop and this is now the first close below the 10 day moving average and the whole basis behind uh the ps60 theory is stocks trade from supply to to supply and demand to demand and if we confirm tomorrow uh today's bottom channel which is this 473 80s level basically uh at the lows of the day hey man there is a shot uh we start extending this sell-off or this back test uh, to the 20 day support, which is roughly uh, the 67, 68 area. So uh, the bulls are not really fighting, right? They're not fighting. Uh, they had an incredible run. If you look at the weekly chart, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the overall structure of this bull market, of this bull thesis for, for us to lose control. When I'm saying well, for the bulls to lose control of this whole bull thesis, the, the market would have to close, NASDAQ would have to close 446, right? The keys would have to close below 446 for it to be structurally wrong. So if you're a long-term investor, I'm not sure why you're watching my channel, but thank you. Uh, but if you are a long-term investor, uh, until we start losing big macro levels on the NASDAQ 100, I think you're fine, okay? I think you're fine. This is still deemed uh, kind of profit-taking. It uh, doesn't mean... Uh, if you're trading both sides of the market, you can't take advantage of it, and that's the whole point. Uh, but longer term, this is still intact. The most important part, though, what are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis? If you're sitting there and just watching your cash uh, kind of, uh, you know, get go lower and, you know, positions go lower and you can't figure it out. My stock was so strong a week ago. Well, also, you know, a week ago, I was younger than I am now. So, you know, we don't live in the past, right? We don't live in the past. Uh, the, the, the present is the present. The past is the past. And now what the bulls need to deal with is to protect today's channel. If they start losing uh, 473.80s, then yes, we have a legitimate shot, maybe not one day, uh, but getting down to this uh, 467, 468 level. Look, at some point, you're going to turn around and the you know, biggest bulls are going to turn around and say, hey, look, we, we just went from uh, 482 to 473 in three days. You know, stocks are over, uh, oversold. How can they be oversold? Guys, we're down... 
three days, we've been rallying for a year and a half. It's impossible to use the word oversold. Just because your position is going against you doesn't mean the market's oversold. Again, that's the whole point of levels. It's the whole point of understanding uh, what's what. Uh, if you look at the semiconductors, again, the SMH that was driving, uh, especially the NASDAQ 100 higher, you can see a perfect back test uh, to the 20-day support. Last time we hit the 20-day support, we bounced. Well, let's see, right? Let's see if the bulls can actually bounce tomorrow. But the same case as the Qs, same case as the SMHs. We start giving up the 20-day support on the SMHs, 255.70s. Well, then again, look, there's another eight points of downside to your next support zone. So the, the bulls need to, you know, they need to start uh, waking up here. If they don't want lower prices, they're going to need to really step up and uh, start defending some of these areas because if not, yeah, we're going to go lower. Uh, look at the SPY. Uh, same thing. The SPY right now is sitting on the 10-day moving average. Uh, they held back-to-back -back levels two days in a row. If they lose the 10-day moving average, right? See the IWM, see uh, the QTQ for reference, uh, what happens next. And, and, and again, stocks are correlated, right? Stocks are correlated. We talked about NVIDIA and nausea, right? And nausea, we talked about this blow-off pause. They lost the five-day. Remember we talked about uh, on uh, the weekend video, right? It stopped at the linear regression line. It lost the linear regression line. It lost the 20-day moving average. Look, come in. This is the lowest close in this whole formation. And if we start losing more levels tomorrow on the Qs, on the SMHs that we talked about, then NVIDIA has a measured potential of 113, this 1213 level as this next landing spot. So again, I'm, I'm hoping we could get a gap up tomorrow just to kind of go green to red and test these channels. Because the last thing I want to see is what we saw today, kind of a gap down and start losing uh, technical damage on a lot of really uh, big names. But overall, if the video starts losing uh, tomorrow to today's channels, uh, it could see a measured potential move to uh, 12, uh, 13. And you look at all these other semis that we've been talking about, right? Avago, we talked about on the weekend video, is in free fall. Uh, we talked about uh, SMCI, right? SMCI again. Well, these stocks are getting hit, and again, it's not their fault. It's just not. It's nothing to do uh, materialistic. Is anything has changed? When you have a massive year, year and a half, almost run up, you're you're going to have a lot of periods in time that you're going to have very aggressive back tests. Now, can the bulls reclaim some of those levels to be determined? But this is kind of what trading both sides of the market is. You need to be aware of stocks. Trading to the upside, reclaiming big levels. Obviously, the biggest level was reclaimed all the way back to uh, five three when we reclaimed back to fifty day moving average. But now again, this is just an orderly back test, and let's see how the bulls uh, handle the next uh, line of support. If indeed uh, we start losing uh, today's channels, one stock, you know, again, there's a lot of names that are just going up, but one of the stocks that gave us today the biggest clues. And again, if you look at the scoreboard today. Uh, the Nasdaq down one about one percent, down one hundred and ninety two points. Dow up two hundred and sixty points, uh, led by um, oils. We'll get to a couple of oil names. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the, the first clue you saw today, and how the buyers are just kind of leaving the building was Amazon, right? So Amazon had a ton of call buying today. When I'm talking about a ton of call buying, uh, at this point, at one point, it went from eighty eight on the remount. I know some of you guys caught it all the way up to ninety one. You started seeing 90s, 95s, 200s. And the most impressive part about reading market structure, reading market sentiment, is how strong stocks react in a, in a sell cycle, right? And uh, Amazon was just like everything else. It just couldn't, uh, it couldn't uh, withstand the selling. And look at, look at the intraday chart. And this is a stock, and this is a stock that had massive option flow. So you have to kind of watch uh, stocks with bullish option flow, uh, how they trade into negative sentiment and vice versa to kind of give yourself uh, some clues. Um, you know, ARM is another name. Uh, again, is very, very close to confirming the 10-day moving average. Uh, has more uh, downside ahead. Let me give you guys a couple more names. Uh, they're definitely watching for tomorrow. Um, yeah, ARM, um, you know, look at, look at Apple. You know, Apple had a little bit of a burst today, but again, uh, still continues to close uh, below the 10 day. If it starts losing this whole channel, remember we talked about Vago, the same kind of look as Apple. You saw what happened with Vago when it lost this channel. Uh, Apple is kind of setting up for the same thing, but not everything is negative, right? Uh, again, some of the oil names are holding up very well. Uh, look at Oxy, right? Look at Oxy. Oxy today, big, big move. 
into the 50-day moving average for all you guys who trade oils. Keep an eye on this thing. If Oxy starts reclaiming back the 50-day moving average, this thing could wake up. Same thing with another, I believe it's an oil name as well, uh, CHX. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I apologize. But same thing. It hit today the 50-day moving average. The 50-day moving average is super important for a stock to start getting above to start going higher. Uh, if it can reclaim the 50-day moving average tomorrow, hey, this thing could wake up as well. And Carvana, Carvana gave a pretty big move today. Uh, we had, a, you know, we talked about Carvana uh, over the weekend update. It took out this whole channel here, pretty much closed at the highs of the day. This thing looks really, really good. Again, so it, it's not everything, right? It's not everything that's back testing. Microsoft is, you know, relatively holding up. Meta is relatively holding up. Google is relatively holding up. But the names, the names that had that really big euphoric move that they were going to the moon and back, those are the names we talked about three days ago. Guys, be careful. Do not remember, do not jump off the 12th floor. If you're gonna jump, jump off the first floor, you'll get a skin knee, you'll get a scratched knee. You jump off the 12th floor, you're looking at a potential severed head. And that's exactly what we want to avoid uh into uh into uh, any type of interval. The one stock that just continues to just really disappoint. Uh Tesla gave us a trade today. It looked good today. It really did. It looked good. It took out 85.20. It took out 87.20. And just when you thought it was about to go double top off the June 17th highs and right back into the range. But again, what else is new, right? And you know, what else is new? It's like, you know, it's like the it's like the tease, right? It's like the, it's like the stripper. It's like falling in love with the stripper. She loves you until you run out of money, right? And then she doesn't love you anymore. She goes into the next guy's lap. Now, listen, that's the market. That's trading. Uh, that is life, right? So life definitely uh, imitates. Uh, sometimes we have affection or uh, sometimes a cold following of a certain symbol. This one has just been stuck in a massive, massive range. And all I kept on saying is maybe today's the day. And it looked really good for a few minutes of the day but not so much. So again, guys, again, watch for a continuation, uh, potential semi, uh, semi names, NVIDIA, ARM, SMCI, you know, all of them. Look guys, look at, look at the whole group, how they got killed. Look at Clack, murdered. Look at, uh, look at, uh, LRCX. They all, they all got killed. It's the whole group because they were the ones that were making the big climbs. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great night. I'm going to take my, uh, son to training with God's help. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.